Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. First of all, a big welcome to everybody. I know it's been a while. Some of you, my day ones have been watching everything I post. I know a lot of times if it's not tagged or prelude related, a lot of it slips through the cracks, which is fine. I get it. But for those of you who aren't aware, um, before I get into, you know what I'm saying, behind me, um, quick little update. I'm not gonna hold you too long, but quick little update. Um, basically, as you can see, Champagne, AKA the Phoenix Lou, you know what I'm saying, is in my new paint book. If you haven't watched the other videos up until this point, go check them out. Um, shows me building the booth, renovations to the shop, everything since the fire. So basically, I'm pretty much 100% back. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's get into this car behind me. This is a 1996 Honda Prelude. Originally had a H23 non-VTEC motor in it. Currently it has, you can call it a custom wrap. I mean, I was in the middle of liquid wrapping it. So this is a custom wrap, kind of like Mad Max edition. <laughs> the interior is pretty much stock. Um, I do have brand new speakers all the way around. Um, it does have a double din radio that has a reverse camera as well. It has a nice little reverse camera. Um, it does have an EL cluster. And what's that? <laughs> that there is a boost gauge because it now has an H22, it's got a spoolie boy on there. It makes about 300 horsepower. Um, this particular manifold is gonna allow me to run power steering and if you look closely, you'll see the AC compressor down there. It does have an eBay um, lip on it, which I've always liked these tinted signal lights and running lights. These are my custom uh, depot uh, retrofitted headlights. They come with projectors, but I put the um, halo rings in them and I take out the three lines on the corner. Outside of that, the only other thing you're looking at is the um, 17 by nine JNC wheels on there with the custom center caps that I made for them. Tires are brand new. So that's pretty much the car, man. So, um, the original plan with this car was basically, I was gonna build the car, um, you know, and show you guys how the turbo, a prelude, um, basically from scratch. And then what I was gonna do at the end of the build, once it was completely finished, um, was basically uh, kind of in a sense, raffle it off or do like a giveaway um, based on, um, you know, merch purchase things like that you know how typical giveaways are set up and i am a super small channel and so really it was just kind of like my way of kind of saying thank you and, and giving back and then also like showing you guys how to build the car and i wasn't originally i wasn't going to announce that it was going to be a giveaway slash raffle car until like literally it was all the way complete it was going to be like a surprise um but like i said those are my day ones that have been kind of really been paying attention from the beginning um, like I said, because I had a shot fire, it changed a lot of things. I mean, this car should have been done last year, like literally over 365 days ago. It should have been done a long time ago. But um, like I said, the fire definitely changed a lot. And um, I'm blessed enough to be able to have made a comeback to get to where I'm at now. And I'm actually at a point now where I actually in the next few weeks slash months, I actually have time to get back on this car. Um, the only thing that's really changed is that because of like financially where I'm at and what it took to get to this point with the shop, it's not really, um, it's not really financially, it doesn't make a lot of financial sense to continue to with my original plan is making it a giveaway car. Now, I know a lot of you have bought stickers 
and I know that a lot of people bought stickers mostly just to help with the fire. And, and I, I like, I really thank you guys, everybody who did donate and buy stickers because it really, I mean, when I tell you I had paper thin margins, I mean like every donation counting, every, I mean, some people donated $10, some people bought stickers for the 50, um, and some people donated more than that. And so just big shout out to everybody who, you know, who reached out and, and touched my life during that that hard moment because uh, it, it definitely was tough uh, mentally and and financially. So um, that being said, my, the original plan was for everybody who has already bought a sticker, they were all like entered into the giveaway. Um, and so now, like I said, financially, it, it doesn't really make sense for me to um, to keep doing it that way, if that makes sense. Um, so basically it's trying to figure out a like unique solution to, I wouldn't call it a problem. I know that the people that did buy stickers, but I know you guys care for me and you know, really wanted to more or less help out versus um, actually, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know you would want to win the car, but I know for a lot of you, it was mostly about just helping out. And I really do appreciate that. Um, so trying to figure out, do I finish the car? and um, basically continue with the original plan, which is, I'll be honest with you, the, the most unlikely. Or two, um, basically uh, kind of sell the car as is. I mean, if any of you guys basically would be interested, you would get like first dibs as, you know, prelude lovers. And um, obviously I could work out some type of deal. The car runs, I mean, cosmetically, I mean, I kind of like the way it looks, and a lot of majority of people like the way it looks, but I know it's not going to be everybody's taste. So it might come down to like either selling it as is or sell it to one of you guys, and then whatever you want to do with it moving forward, you know, I could kind of, you know, if you want blue, red, you know, whatever color you want, like however you want to like move forward cosmetically, like we can arrange that, work that out. Um, and Cause like I said, I don't see like for what I have into the car, I don't financially it doesn't make sense to continue with the raffle. It's just I have too much into the car, and I I highly doubt that I would sell enough merch to cover the cost of the car. So yeah, like I said it's kind of like a little bit of a sticky situation. And then to tag on to that, if I do go the route of like selling it, then everybody that that did buy stickers, I mean. Luckily, you know, you did get something out of it, you did get the sticker, you got some merch out of it. Um, but I, I think I would like to at least at minimum do like a kind of like cash giveaway for maybe like, maybe one winner takes all or maybe like pick three winners and top three winners, you know, get a certain amount. Um, just something so that you guys aren't like completely left in the, in the, in the wind. So, um, like I said, trying to make a decision moving forward, what seems like to be the right thing. And like I said, right now, financially, I really kind of just need to get rid of the car so I can make at least some of my money back. Um, because building the paint booth ain't free, you know what I mean? And times have been hard. So uh, I, I feel like in the near future, I'll be back on my feet. But um, selling this car would definitely help me uh, get there a little bit faster. Um, so that's kind of my, more or less where I'm leaning towards. So kind of all that being said, um, the plans that I kind of have kind of moving forward um, is that I really like the way the car looks, but I want to make it look more like I did it on purpose, even more than, even though this is like literally authentic, it's no longer champagne. This is the Phoenix Lou now. Now from the ashes, <laughs> she rises. But um, like I said, I kind of want to make it look like I did it on purpose. And then um, I have my airbrush artist, which is the same guy who did my engine bay, my Galaxy engine bay. And I wanted to basically have him like complete the Mad Max look of the car by adding some like fighter jet type um, airbrush artwork to it. And then once he's done, seal it all in with some uh, like a satin top coat and um, literally call it done from there. You guys saw the engine bay. The engine bay has like that rustic look to it. The only thing that I had planned on doing, because I actually really like the way the engine bay looks for the most part, because it goes with the outside of the car. 
But two of the things that I was gonna do for the engine bay was one, uh, clean up the valve cover, um, and then pressure wash the actual bay where the, where the uh, um, truck bed liner is on in the bay. Clean that and clean up the, uh, the valve cover and then everything else, leave it because it just, it flows um, with that rustic, like Mad Max theme. So that's kind of the plan that I have as of right now moving forward. Once that's done, I think, like I said, from there, I'm gonna post the car for sale. And if any of you guys are like legitimately interested in the car, um, let me know. It's not gonna be cheap because like I said, I do, I'm not expecting to make every dollar that I put into it back. It never works that way, but I do have a price in mind and I can't say 100% what it's gonna be, but I need minimum at least eight. I need at least eight for this car. That's like the bare minimum. I have probably about four, probably about four more into it. But like I said, realistically, I'm probably not gonna get all that back and you never, usually never do. But for me to like be okay with selling it, the price would have to be at minimum of like eight. So if you're watching this video and like I said, if you haven't seen the build, go back, check things out. You see the parts that I use, the turbo that I use, the tune session, everything is, is documented. I'll put the links to everything below. But if uh, if eight sounds good to you, I mean, come get it. And like I said, if you're willing to pay more and you want to change the way it looks as the buyer, I'm more than happy to work something out with you. Um, but that being said, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update for those of you who were wondering about this car. And a lot of people seem to think that my other prelude with my clear hood and my Galaxy Bay, and this one is the same prelude and it's not. Um, I thought I made that pretty clear in a few videos, but so if you're wondering, this is not my original prelude. That one is actually at the house. Um, this is a whole separate prelude. So just to clear that up. Hey, so with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, comment below if you have any ideas, any questions, anything moving forward. Hopefully, this is going to be the start of a new beginning, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, hit that like button, share, and if you're new, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Hit that, and I'll see you on the next one. Ba -ba 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 -ba